This is the level where I die. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining me for the 17th of September daily challenge. I have not done much Spelunky lately, as you can obviously see by looking at my channel. Pretend there's a link here to my channel. Yep, okay. Right, okay, now, begin. I've basically been focusing on Knit Underground, and I do apologize if you get any... any pops, any plosives in the microphone, because I've changed the position of it, and I don't have a pop filter for it yet. But I am hoping that this way, the quality will be significantly better, because I had it positioned in a stupid way, basically. Uh, but yeah, no pop filter yet, and I kind of need one for this position, preferably. See, there was one there. I apologize for that. I'm going to play as Yang, as I always do nowadays, having beaten hell. I'm never going to shut up about that. Never. <laughs> Alright, this is just going to be a perfectly standard run, apart from it being a daily challenge, of course. Oh, crate. Thank you very much. Random number generator. Oh, a web gun. Now that's unusual. I never normally get web guns. In fact, I do very rarely get web guns, and they are pretty neat items, really. So you know, that bat's going to be stuck and I can just wander on by safely, not worrying about him. What's down here? Yes, I see the bat, don't worry. I can get down there without any... Oh! I am proud of those reflexes there. Right, I'm going to whip that rock down just in case I want it. Nah, <laughs> stupid bat. That was completely pointless. Yeah, I'm playing very experimentally with this web gun here. Oh no, I need a bomb to get through there. That, that, that's probably worth it. Probably worth it. I hope it's worth it. Whoa, that was dangerous. Yeah, damsel. I'm not going to get the damsel, though, because, honestly, I'm, nowadays I'm not placing much faith in getting extra health. Because it doesn't seem to be saving my life at all. And if it's not saving my life, I'm not going to risk my life or risk some time to... That was stupid. All right, all right, all right. Now, I think I can easily get her to the exit, so I'm going to go back and get her now. Like, without wasting too much time. And hey, if I can get health without wasting any time, or losing out on anything else, I'm going to do it. For obvious reasons, it's health, and it can save your life. Gonna get her in there. Anything over here I want? Absolutely not. So let's get on out of here. 18,100. That is not bad, especially for the first level, in fact. Okay, let's see if we can keep this up. We probably can't. I don't know why I threw that, I did not need to. Nor did I need to throw that, but I wanted to anyway. Now, one thing I only realized a short while ago is that the web gun allows you to make some jumps you can't normally make. No, because of the fact it's a web and it, you get stuck in it. And when you get stuck in it, you can jump out of it. So, if you use it, you can make some very nice jumps. You know, get to some areas that might otherwise require a rope or something like that. Uh, there's a pot there. I'll be getting that if I can get to it in time. Ooh, there's a crate there. I'll certainly be getting that. And more ropes. That's rather nice. Die, skeleton. And there's nothing in there, and there's nothing more I want here. So let's get on over here. I shall be dropping that down there, and I shall also be... I think the exit's right beneath me. The exit is not right beneath me, and that is Damsel Death. So I'm going to throw her down that way. So that she will survive. Alright. 
right. I'm just, I'm just scouting the area first. Oh, car crap. Car crap. Okay, now I can drag everything over. I really want in there, though. In fact, you know what? You know what I'm saying? That's not going to let me through, because those blocks, of, that stone block and the wood block is going to sort of block this, some of the force of the explosion, not allowing me to get through. And more bombs, that's brilliant. And she's going to take some damage, that's fine. She is, to this point, unharmed, so that will not kill her. And I've left the web gun up there. Crap. Well, no, that's okay. I never really used it, anyway. Get her down there. Oh, a ruby. Oh, now this is... This is level two. So I can actually afford both of these, just about. <gasps> oh, you're kidding me. Are you kidding me? I've got a check back. Fuck, you know what? I'm going to want to get higher up than this. And I can get my web gun back. Fantastic. Please come from the right. Close enough. Oh, I nearly went on those spikes there. Okay, well, I... I okay, well. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that by any stretch of any anything. A jetpack for 8,000 gold. Oh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely phenomenal. And I've got more bombs, so... You know what? I've got extra bombs, so I'm going to spend some to get through there. It's going to cost quite a few, but I've got quite a few spare. And there might be a bomb box. Because with the look of this run so far... It's kind of likely there's something amazing in here. That's not as amazing as, as I'd hoped. But I'm not complaining. Because I've got... This is 1-3... I'm close to the required amount for this level anyway. And I'm doing above average on everything. Literally everything there is. To care about, anyway. Alright, alright. I can even kill you, spider. Nah. Oh, I hope I can fly up into there. Where's the chest and key, though? I'm really kind of nervous that I've missed it. Whoa, dear. I've got to check around in there just in case it's in there. Ooh, ruby, yes, please. That's not a ruby, it's an emerald. It's an emerald. <laughs> an emerald. Oh, man, it's not here. Where is it? Can it be on 1-4? Is that a thing that's possible? I really don't know. I think it can be on any of the cave, the mine levels. Except maybe 1-1, one, one, the first one? I'm really not sure. Oh, well, I can't get to the damsel. Can get over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to have a very quick look at the area the damsel's in, just in case the chest is down there. I don't think it is, but I do have spare bombs. So you know what? I'm gonna spend a bomb to get the damsel. I'm gonna chuck that down there. Set that off. I would have loved to get that gold, but yeah, unfortunately, not happening. Not happening, unfortunately, and get my web gun. Oh man, I really hope I've not missed the Ujad Eye. I don't think I've ever missed it before. Except purposely, you know. So, yeah. Oh, and paste, fantastic. 
Excellent. There's my sticky paste. I nearly went up through that arrow trap there. That would have been stupid. <gasps> There's the key and spike shoes as well. Oh my crap. Okay, well that has set the precedent for this run going horribly. Because, I mean, come on, we all know when runs go this well, early on, something very bad happens. It's inevitable. It's a universal law. Oh my, and a compass, are you kidding? Alright, I'm not pushing that because the bat will hurt me. And I do not wish to be hurt by the bat. Over here, is there any, is the chest down there? It's not. I do want this, however. Yeah, I did have to whip the woman, but uh, kind of unavoidable. Well, it wasn't really unavoidable at all, but I, I wanted to get that snake and I wanted the woman as well, which meant whipping the woman. I mean, yeah, that's fair enough, isn't it? Whip that down there. Put that down there. Grab her. Alright, have a quick scout out for the... Chest. It's going to be near the exit, isn't it? Yes, it is! Alright, this is going fantastically. I'm sure I can get over there quickly and safely enough. I'm just going to let her walk along her own way. I do want the web gun, though. Hmm. I will, of course, sacrifice the web gun if, you know, if it comes down to it for time's sake. Okay, okay. This is a fantastic daily challenge, this. Oh, she died. Well, that's actually significantly easier on me because the ghost coming. God, no! Don't do that! Can I get the web gun? I can get the web gun. Okay, brilliant. Almost 50,000 as well. And a jetpack, seven bombs, seven ropes. Oh boy. I'm scared now. I'm gonna discard the web gun, cause, yeah. It's too much of a hassle to concern myself with carrying it with me. See, that right there, folks, is skill. It's something I have, seeing as I'm good at things. I have skill, apparently. I did not know this. I really want that boomerang. I should drop down on his head and kill him. Excellent. Now, there's no piranha in here, so I can safely look down. I'm just keeping an eye open for the black market. Wait for him to jump left again, then I'll hop down on his head. I did say I was discarding the thing, didn't I? Oh no, you blummin' don't. Alright, it's not here. The damsel is there, but I'm not going to concern myself with her. That's dangerous, considering I've got climbing gloves. If I didn't have climbing gloves, I would almost certainly go for that. Ah, stupid monkeys. Oh, now he might give me spring shoes. You know what? That's worth it. Spring shoes? Definitely worth it. Yes! Okay. Check that over there. Get that to the exit. Quickly check over... You know what? That's worth a bomb as well, that. Oh, 
really hope it's not over there. I would have survived that though, luckily. And it is not over here. Good. And I can get the damsel. Excellent. 70,775. Getting low on the old bombs, though. But I'm okay with that. I am okay. Alright, just lure him down into that hole. Get this gem here. Oh, this gold up here as well. Blum and heck. Now I want into there. I really want up into there. God. Hmm. Two bombs to get in from the side, or one from below. And with these monkeys, this is scary. But there's a boomerang man there, so I can boomerang them all. Ha-ha! This run is going pretty well. I'm going to wait for that bat to come down. Because I don't want to get knocked down under the spikes by him when I go up there. The monkeys are a hazard. The monkeys are a hazard. Alright, put that down. Get this, get more ropes. That's okay, that's good. If I'm going to go for hell, then I'm going to want ropes. That's for absolutely certain. The black market is not up there, it does not look like. Alright. I shall get this gem and toss this pot into the abyss. That's not the abyss, there's a spider in it as well. <laughs> and the plant ate the spider. What a shame. Oh, that guy came to life, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it, but I did thou bums. Yeah. I didn't expect it, but I thought to check. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> uh, still no black market. And I've got 78,000. And I've got a jet pack. I can basically spend all of this money on bombs after the ank. Oh, giggles. Wait, what level is this? Oh no, it's going to be on this level, isn't it? Oh, crap. Wait, hang on, do I keep getting gold when I reignite? No, I don't. I was going to say that would be kind of cheap. Okay, okay. Nah, he doesn't have a boomerang, that's good. Whoa, did he throw the torch? I didn't know they did that! I had absolutely no idea they threw the torches! Whoa, I had absolutely no idea they could throw the torches. Oh man, that's scary. I mean, the scary part is that I didn't know, obviously. Whoa, I had no idea. Plug that down there, that seems safe. I'm not going to spend time looking for things, I'm going to spend time living. Okay, get down in there, kill him. Oh no. I don't care, I want that idol. There's a bat, I can hear the bat, I can see the bat. Holy crap, how much further have I got to go? Okay, I see the bubble. I want that idol still. Where did my torch go? fell in the water. That's okay, that's okay. I can 
reignite it there and toss it over there. And now it is obviously permanently stuck. Because there's not a chance I'm getting in there to get it out. <gasps> Crap. Bums, bums. Okay, come on, I can do this. I can do it. I think I can do this. Ugh. I think I can do it. It's there, it's right there. Oh, I left the idol behind, but... Oh, I am... Oh, that was good. That was very good. Now, please nothing go wrong in here. Please nothing go wrong in here. Oh, there's a shotgun. I don't want the shotgun, though. Holy crap, this is horrible. I'm gonna go up and around this way. I'm gonna drop on his head. I've got a weapon for the rest. Now I just need to. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Kill that snail. That son of a snail. I don't know why I said son of a snail. It sounds weird. Okay, Ankh obtained. Please have lots of bombs. I'm basically going to buy all bombs at this point. Because I've got a jetpack, I don't need anything else. I have everything I could need. And that includes ropes, because I've got a load of ropes as well. Okay, okay. Okay. Play it cool. Bomb box bought. And there are virtually no bombs. One of the few times I have bombs. And there are virtually none. Crap. Oh, crap. Why are there virtually no bombs? I don't have enough of the shotgun, do I? No, I definitely don't have enough of the shotgun. So what on earth do I buy now? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to buy anything. As a matter of fact. I am gonna bomb that. There's not a chance in hell I'm not bombing that. Because, yeah, technically possible I could get past it. It's also technically possible I could finish the game in, like, no time at all without getting hit. That's not gonna happen, though. Just gonna get out of the way. Oh, that stupid bat hit me in the testicles. Right, okay. 15 bombs. I would really rather have more. But I'm really, really, really hoping I find more later. Because if I don't... Well, it's gonna make... Olmec slash Yama very, very difficult. Very, very difficult indeed. Oh, no. That's okay, play it cool. You've got a jetpack, you have the ultimate in mobility. Oh, that was scary. I have the ultimate mobility tool in Spelunky. I have the jetpack. I don't need the damsel, because I'm going to be sacrificing myself anyway. But... Well, I may as well get it just to, in case I take stupid hits like that. Alright, 23,600. That's enough to get plenty of bombs if there's a bomb shop later on. Please be a bomb shop. Please. There isn't going to be a bomb shop, is there? 
There's never a bomb shop when you want a bomb shop. Whoa. Ah, so clinging on the edge of those doesn't set them off. I did not know that. There's a mammoth here. Somewhere. Run across that, set it off. I know I've got climbing gloves. They are actually good for some things. I'm just going to kill him because I can and want to and also him okay, there's a ledge down here so I can land on that get even more gold and I don't think I saw the head here no nope, so I'm just gonna get out get out I'm done I'm gone <laughs> 34,000 though that that's not bad either that is not bad either. Hmm. And there's a crate and there's a... Right, first thing, set that off. In case I accidentally set it off myself. This is the level where I die. <laughs> I apologize. I, I just had a bit of a, an excitement gasm there. I am very deeply sorry for that horrible noise. Yes, that's right. Very deeply sorry. That's double sorry. That's extra, extra strange. Whoa. <gasps> There's an altar there. Now, this basically means I'm going to get an item that I don't already have. Spectacles. That's actually could be really bloody good if I get a dark level in future. Because they do increase your range of vision in, a, in dark levels, so they are really, actually, far better than people give them credit for, I think. People always seem to hate on the poor spectacles, but they're actually really, really nice items. If you get a dark level. If you don't get a dark level, then they're basically worthless. And that one went off the, into the abyss. Let's get into the exit. I'm only kidding. I want to get a hell. I really want to get to hell. Because if I manage hell on a daily challenge, that's basically my spelunky credibility, my spelunky cred, built up to the maximum. Yeah, that's max spelunky cred, beating hell on a daily challenge, I think. Oh, <laughs> that was almost stupid. I am offline, apparently, on Origin. Okay, that's kind of strange. Let's die. Now, I'm so glad you get to keep the jetpack when you die. It would be horrible if you didn't. It's spamming you are offline. That's, that's very strange. Okay, anyway. Okay, 27 bombs, 45,800, 10 ropes, jetpack, climbing gloves, oh, spring shoes, spike shoes, compass. This is the ultimate of survivability. This is the most survivable build there is. There's no question about that. that this is the most survivable build. So if I die here, it's because of my own stupid mistake. Which is still a very real possibility. Now at this point, I'm just going to... Gun it for the exit. After checking for goodies. If I'm convinced I can be safe, I'm going to look around. If I'm not sure... Then I'm not going to look around. Obviously. Now, at this point, I do want to get the damsels, if possible, and if safe. Now, where is she? Is she safe? She is actually very safe and very easy to get. So, let's get on up here. Set that off for the fun of it. Okay. Yes, I am nervous at this point. I hope you can appreciate why. Because I'm coming up to the temple. With an ideal Anubis killing build, 
but no shop, no bomb shop. I really wanted a bomb shop. Oh. Okay. Do not set him off. They are much easier dealt with not moving around. Well, not being aware that you're going to kill them. Not jumping around like a madman. Whoa, I didn't see that thing up there. I was going to say, be careful of the thwompy things as well. Okay, that floor is secure. Apart from that skeleton, who is not a concern to me. Anubis? Oh, sorry Anubis, you're dead. There's lava beneath him. There's lava beneath... <gasps> That's a shop! <gasps> and it's got a bomb box! It's got a bomb box! The shop's got a bomb box! Bomb box, bomb box, bomb box! Now I think I can get past... Oh, crap! You're buying that, no question. Oh. Where's the scepter? There's the scepter! It nearly killed me. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna rush through... Rush up over here and go down the other way. Because there's not a chance I'm risking getting past that alligator guy. I'm sure I probably could get past him relatively safely. But I've got the extra bombs and by hell I'm going to use them. Okay, so that is a good thing. The this is that good for future note. The scepter does not get destroyed when it falls into lava. That's really relieving. Because I didn't know if it did or not. I was really freaking out that it would have... that it was destroyed in the lava. Okay. Look for the end. More bombs. That's actually really rare, that shop there. Okay, please... Parrot-headed guy, come out. I want to quickly look for the door while I'm waiting. No, it's somewhere further down. Okay, wait for him. Okay, he's dead. A shotgun! I could get a shotgun into hell! Oh, no, wow! If I could get a sh I can get a shotgun into hell. I can get a shotgun into hell! This never happens to me. I never get a shotgun into hell. I've never had a shotgun in hell before. I'm getting the hell out of here. Because now I've got a shotgun. I can kill Nubas too with a shotgun. And save bombs. Okay. 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 Lure him further to the right. One, two, three, four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excellent. I'm really neglecting the whole thwomp thing, aren't I? Make sure that's, that our trap has been set off. It has. Fantastic. Bomb my way down into there. Just gonna take one, two, oh, three hits. Okay, fair enough. Be extremely careful not to open the way through to them, because I don't want to bother with them. Oh wow, this is ideal!
I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous here. Very nervous indeed. I'm basically just clearing that out so I've got a fast way out. Alright, that guy's dead. And now I'm gonna shotgun Anubis 2 to death. Hopefully. Those skeletons can't harm me. And nor can he, because he's dead. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh boy. I really did not expect this run to last this long. I, th I thought it would be over in like five seconds. D okay, just checking. I am alive, aren't I? I'm checking my pulse. Yep, my pulse is going. Is this a dream? I'm trying to go Super Saiyan. It's not working. Okay, this is not a dream. This is real. Okay. Okay, I'm scared now. I am pooing my pants. I am... I, 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 I could poo my pants right now. I could very easily poo myself. Okay, the rope setup comes later. First things first, scout for chests. And gold, because I want gold. It's a daily challenge. If I can get gold without risking death, I will get it. Absolutely no question about that. Okay, that's going to get crushed, sadly. What? No way. Web gun. Parach oh no, the parachute's bad. The parachute is very bad. More bombs! I have 41 bombs! Oh man, I'm worried now. I'm worried, I'm worried. I'm gonna screw up. My hands are slightly cold. The temperature has dropped very quickly over the past few days. And my hands have not yet adjusted to the temperature. So my nimbleness is slightly lower than usual. Alright, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, discarded that parachute. Good. Okay, now I want to check the Necronomicon, see where he's munching away. Oh, wow, well, right here. Right over to the right, in fact. And... Right, okay, I want to lure Anubis. Anubis? I'll make over to the left. I'm going to avoid using ropes wherever possible and get that gold! <laughs> Come on, Olmec. Alright, he's not going to be following me here. right up against the edge. That's actually an excellent thing, that. Because it means I can focus the bombs towards the right, and that way I can't accidentally make the hole too wide. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't have enough health to, explo to explore an explosion, to, to survive an explosion, so I've got to be at least somewhat careful still. Is that wide enough for, for him? I don't think it is. So what I'm going to do... Plonk a bomb there. I'm going to widen it one more on the left. Because the door is further to the left than it is to the right. Okay. Alright. This is definitely wide enough. Crap, no ropes! That's okay, I'm just gonna have to rely on no ropes. 
Come on, old mech. Crap, he's gonna miss. Bums, that's okay, I've just gotta make it one ride wider to the right. That's okay, I can do that. I've got the bombs for it. I've got the bombs to do that, it's okay. Seeing that's okay, I've got the bombs to do it, but this is going to be really scary to do. Actually. I'm going to have to do it like this. Oh no, I think that's actually going to make a miss. I really hope it doesn't make a miss. I really, really hope. Let's just see if I can climb up that wall. That's okay. Come on, Olmec. Just come on. You're gonna die. Let's face it. Everyone dies one day. Everyone dies sooner or later, Olmec. Even you. Even Yama. Yama's gonna die this day too, you know. Wow, what the hell? I didn't know you could stand on the platform. Ah. Okay, that changes my plan somewhat. Come on. Did anyone know you could stand on that platform? I sure as hell didn't. Well, that means I've got to narrow it down on this side. Which is okay, I can do that. It's not really more difficult, it's just scarier. Okay, that's got to be enough room. That's got to be enough. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I want to make extra sure. I want to leave nothing up to chance. I think that's completely done. He's got to die this time. One second, I have an itchy nose. There we go. You know, I think playing Knit Underground and doing the figure and the minifigure has really improved my platforming skills. <laughs> Whoa, that was so close to being missed. Yes, I'm in hell again. <laughs> you know, it's actually funny how once you've been to hell once, it's it gets easier to get there. I don't know if that's just some kind of placebo effect or if it's me getting better at the game or... Or something does change in the generator. Just a teeny bit of a niceness increase once you've beaten hell. That allows you to get there more easily. I don't know. It's, it, I hope it's skill. I hope it's skill. Oh yeah, this is excellent. Because I'm not getting Vlad's cape. But I am getting the amulet. The amulet is, for, is a definite get. Oh crap, Vlad's free. Are you going to come after me, Vlad? No, you're not going to come after me. You're just going to go down in your tower and have a nice meal. Well, that's fine. You don't want to come after me, you don't have to. All I want is your amulet. I will let you and your minions live. Alright, I'm in hell. Now, I actually want to get that crate. Bombs? Hell yes. Are 
Are you a succubus? No, I think you're the real damsel. But unfortunately, not willing to risk it. I'm just not willing to risk it. I'm sorry, damsel. I am sorry. Okay. Take it cool. Whoa. Get out of here. I have Vlad's amulet. I have certainly enough bombs to get through hell and enough bombs to kill Yama at the end of it. Okay, Bat, I'm sorry, you're just gonna die by shotgun. It's overkill, I know, but... Okay. Okay. I really want to know what the trap here does. In fact, I'm not sure it's a trap. I think it's just really difficult to get because of the whole, you know, spike balls. Oh, crap. I can get down there safely enough. That's okay. I'll take care of that arrow, that tiki trap. Crap, that was scary as... Big fat titties. Gah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was really bad, that. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking there. And not thinking in hell gets you dead. Not thinking in hell gets you outright dead. I'm not taking any risks. Well, I suppose being in hell is technically a risk by definition, but... Oh! That was a risk because I wasn't sure that was going to work. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, 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 okay. I can't believe I actually got to hell. In a daily challenge as well. Okay, 42 minutes, 39 seconds so far. Wow. And I told someone I would probably be back in about 10 minutes. Because I honestly didn't expect to live this long. I really did not expect to live this long, you see. <laughs> Alright, is it safe down there? It's not really safe anywhere here. Gah. You. I fancy my way in my odds in this direction more than I do the other. Okay, that's not a sucky bit, but I'm still not willing to risk it. Oh, stupid skeleton. If that skeleton had killed me or something there. Right, that's it. I want to kill that vampire. That's not going to kill him, but it is going to set him off. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, holy crap. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bomb down there, and then I'm going to shoot him. Don't you dare drop the shotgun! No! No, 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 no. I need that shotgun to live. Almost literally so as well. Spike shoes? Not- Oh, which one's a succubus? The one down here is a succubus. See, his mouth isn't moving. But I'm not going to concern myself with that because I'm getting out of the hell out of here. Oh no, that was 5-3. Okay, come on. Bomb the minions. Take out the spikes, kill the vampires. Then get up there. Hi again, Yama. Did you miss me?
Whoa, I didn't see the vampire there, that's stupid. Oh, that would have killed me dead. Oh my hell. Vampires, you're doing right down here. I've obtained tips from the Winchesters. Are there actually no spikes here? Oh my god, I think there are actually almost no spikes here. There are spikes there, but that's okay. That's those spikes taken care of. Oh, hell. Yama, you scared? You scared I'm gonna shotgun you to death? Oh, poor baby Yama. Come on, imp. Oh, poor little baby Yama. Oh, that's the first time I've destroyed one of them. A deadly ball and chain that swings with infernal determination. And I'm gonna kill his hand just because. Now this being a daily challenge, I am gonna risk the time. Well, not the time, because I've got unlimited time, really. I am gonna risk bombing for these rubies, because I want a nice score. That's the name of the game of the Daily Challenge, so why not do it? I've got the bombs to do it, so I'm going to do it. Now, this is certainly not going to be an all-time mega ultra high score, the best in the world. But I hope it will be at least a good, decent one. Yeah, it's going to be about 300,000. Overall, after the nice, special, hell-beating thing you get. Yeah, I was not gonna die there. Oh, I can actually stand on him. Nice. Gonna shotgun along there, kill anything that may be waiting. And get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright, I think that's my best score of all time as well. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, Yang is not here anymore because I am Yang, of course. <laughs> Alright. Well. Well, well, well. Final score? Come on. Oh, boy. 345,425. 47 minutes, not very quick. But hell. I beat hell on a daily challenge. Absolutely go me. Ha <laughs> ha. That was very, very nice. Now, I deserve those fireworks. I really do. Yes, I'm being proud here, but I don't give a stuff. Because I actually did well in a daily challenge for it. The first time I've ever done well-ish in a daily challenge. I'm kind of curious to see what position I'm going to be in. Because the people at the top, they always do. They probably ghost all of the vaults and everything. Get the money that way and don't go to hell. Or maybe they do do that and get to hell because they're much better than me, but... Hell! And there are the nice balloons. Caveman balloon, yeti balloon. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Why is it so sad? He's so happy with his big lips. <laughs> and his belly button there as well. Yeah, it's the alien balloon. Aliens. Aliens. 
I'm actually really, really glad I decided to to record this daily chance today because I was actually going to leave it and not do any videos at all today. You know, because I did did about five, six Knit Underground videos yesterday. That would have lasted a few days. But I'm really glad I decided to do this on a whim. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> now, I know I'm not going to be in the... I'm not going to stay in the top ten, certainly. I'm never going to stay in the top ten, that's for sure. But I'm actually very, very proud of my score here. I'm actually quite pleased with it. Now, you know, I'm going to skip the credits. Because 31st... Ew, that's lower than I thought. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's change the filter. See everyone's score. Now, see, I'm the only one in the... Wow. Not many people made it to hell today. <laughs> Not many people at all. Oh, that guy made it to the third level. Wow. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased I actually finished hell with that. Oh, that guy made it to the first level. He did get more money than me, though. So he would have been ghosting things. He probably finished hell. Oh, well, wow. A lot of the top ones, the top ten, made it to hell and probably finished as well. And number one, Kenneth1250, who had 1.7 million. And he didn't make it to Yammer. But hell, with a score like that, you don't care. <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's actually brilliant. I'm, I'm pleased with that. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next video I make, whatever the hell that may be. Bye for now.